Hi, my name is Rina and welcome to my channel. Today I have finally painted something with colors again and I'm so happy about it. In whole October I drew with only inks and one color each day and I have to admit um, I've missed colors a lot. So this week I have painted a painting um, that I have called Idealism and I'll tell you why I've named it that a little bit later But first I just wanted to talk about like what I used to paint it what I'm painted on last week I showed you that I had gotten some new art supplies and I tried out my Holbein watercolor paints for this painting and I have to say that I really love those paints some of the paints in their full set, a lot of the paints actually do have quite an opaque uh, quality to them. Um, so it's just like the matter of finding out what colors are opaque, what colors are transparent, and they are really fine to work with when you know what you're painting with. I also used a A3 sheet of uh, Winsor Newton watercolor paper. This is their old paper, so it's not 100% cotton. I don't know, it doesn't say anything about cotton on the package. So as I've tried Arches, I don't think it's as good as Arches um, because it's a little easier to get back washes and stuff on this paper. I wanted to talk a tiny little bit about the theme um, idealism versus realism because that is what this painting is all about. Um, Idealism and realism and um, just all those different kinds of isms is something that my, me and my husband talk a lot about um, because uh, we are planners. Like every time we are going to do something or are planning to do something in the future, we are really uh, extensive planners. So uh, for example, we are now uh, in the market for a house and we are already like planning out we have been planning for a long while uh, how we want our house or, uh, and I've been planning like how I want my art room that's why we've been talking a lot about idealism versus realism because I can often be very idealistic when I try to plan out things and that is where like uh, You'll see it in the painting, I don't know, you'll see it in the painting, um, the idealistic uh, version of a person is the one where you see the flowers that comes out of the head. That is kind of what I picture when I think about idealism, someone like uh, wanting the perfect, uh, most pretty version of whatever, versus then the version of uh, realism um, where you have to think about what is realistic for you, what is realistic for your plans, uh, things can change and stuff like that and, and where you see the person with the realistic uh, mindset, uh, you see that the head is cut out uh, and you can see the inside of the head that is filled with realism, basically. So um, you can see her spinal cord and her brain and blood, and that is just what is realistic with a open head <laughs> wound, I guess. My husband thinks this painting is really macabre and bizarre, and I cannot see that. I don't know if I am the weird one, but he thinks it's weird that I paint this kind of paintings, but I don't like like salad fingers and fat pie. That is some bizarre animations that he likes to watch, but I don't like them. So we're having kind of a little clash here on what is bizarre and <laughs> macabre and uh, gory, I guess. So what this painting is about for me is um, how I feel that if you put together realism and idealism and you mush them all together 
I think that is where the magic happens. So that is basically it. That is basically my uh, version of what is the perfect, uh, <laughs> I almost called it ideal, ideal. <laughs> but I think that if you put a little idealism and a little realism into your life, it is a good chance of finding some magic, I guess. On to an, uh, a little bit uh, deeper topic. Um, I was I was very inspired by. Uh, you probably heard about her. Uh, she runs the channel Meow Meow Kapow. Um, she has been very open recently with her depression and how she's trying to deal with it. And she's been making these. Um, depression comics that she have ch shared with everyone and I have to say that I'm I'm really inspired by her openness and I feel like that is something that a lot of people should dare to be open about because I am very clear on that uh, mental health is not something to be ashamed about even though it feels like you should be ashamed about it it's 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 not um and i've been a little nervous to make this voiceover because i've been wanting to talk about this and it feels a little weird like i have talked some about mental health before but it's it's scary because there are a lot of judgment and everyone has a mental health but some are affected by things a lot more than others, and that's just how it is. Like I said, inspired by Meow Meow Kapow, I wanted to talk a little bit about like what's happening um, in my life. Because I have been gone for a while now from making art. As I have said, I've struggled with depression this year. And it's starting to get a lot better. I haven't felt depressed for a month, like seriously. And that feels so great. But there's still struggles that I have around like my mental health. And it's not very easy to talk about. But I'll do my best because I feel like it's so much more easy for people to be themselves when they can be open about what they're struggling with. Or... Anything like personal, uh, it's it's always better to share than to keep it for yourself for your whole life because it will only make you miserable if you never dare to share with anyone. So I very recently, like two weeks ago, I got granted disability aid. Um, I'm not entirely sure if that is uh, something that is uh, normal in other countries, but we have a very good health system here in Norway. I had an opportunity to apply for that because I have been struggling with my mental health, with anxiety, uh, social anxiety specifically, but also general, and... Um, avoidant personality disorder and also depressions and uh, more stuff that I don't need to get into and uh, I've been in the system for eight years now and um, I was trying to get a normal job like a normal person that was my dream when I turned uh, 17 18 and I couldn't finish school I was very into uh, trying to get a job and something that I love to do. Um, but I used years and years trying different... Uh, I, I went to courses, I tried a couple of jobs, uh, like as an intern. Um, I tried to go back to school. Um, I... I even I've been in treatment for the last eight years, but after about five years in treatment, I realized that this isn't getting better any anytime soon, 
And it was very hard to realize that and to kind of uh, say to myself that that's okay. Um, so when I, for two weeks ago, got my disability aid granted after uh, I, I applied for it in June, it was like someone lifted a lot of weight off my shoulders um, I have been so caught up in like wanting to be someone that everybody else wants me to be. I've wanted to get healthy and do a normal job, but I've just realized that that isn't possible and right now. And that's kind of why I allowed myself to go into art because that's a hobby that I can do in my home. And it turned out that it makes me very happy to do it also. So from now on, I just want to do art as much as I have the energy for uh, and just keep making myself happy because that's, that's my new goal in life right now. Since I couldn't be a quote unquote normal person, uh, I'm saying that with a grain of salt. My new goal is to do the things that makes me happy and just go on with my life uh, with a lot of love for myself, even though I have these thoughts of like, oh, why can't I do things that everybody else does? I also wanted to talk a little bit about like why... I'm not so good at maybe responding to messages I get or stuff like that. It's because I have so much anxiety about it and it feels kind of shameful that that is the reason. And it feels silly that I have to kind of excuse myself for it, but it's reality. It's... It's... It's just real life. Everyone struggles with something, and this is what I struggle with. It felt kind of good getting that off my shoulders. Um, I don't really need to explain it to anyone, because no one has really asked. But it still feels good to be honest, and that is something that I want to practice more in my life. That it's so much better to be honest and open about stuff than keeping it to myself and be ashamed of it. I don't want to be ashamed anymore. So I just wanted to, do, to talk about one last thing before I round off here. Since I've been kind of back and forth with my channel for a while now, putting some videos up and stopping, putting some videos up and stopping, um, I really want to change that. I don't want to take two or three, three months breaks uh, anytime soon, uh, so I have decided that I want to do a regular one video a week schedule again. So I've finally found out how I can uh, upload the videos on a certain time. So it, I will put up a video every Friday at 10 a.m. CMT plus one time. Um, I don't know what that time will be in other places but uh, it, the video will come at the same time every Friday um, and if there is any changes to that I will try to inform you sometimes as I've already been open about my mental health this in this voiceover I uh, have to say that I can become uh, worse and then not be able to do art for a while but then I'll, I'll try to tell you so that you know about it and if I suddenly just disappear uh, I will probably be back but it's just hard right that right then so that's just that's just how it is and I'll try to deal with it the best way that I can I really really enjoy doing YouTube uh, even though it's scaring me more than anything also I just find it so giving and uh, I really feel accomplished when I manage to do art and post a video about it and 
it's really fun. It gives me something to do with my days now that I am on disability aid. And I just, I love being creative in many ways. So that's, that's why I do this. So I hope I didn't rant for way too long now. I'm going to round it off and I'll say that I'll see you next week. And keep being creative and do things for yourself. Bye!